hello guys welcome to this video and in today's video i'll be showing you um how the photoshop interface works right what so basically understanding this interface here and how to move around the interface so first things first um you need to create a, a new photoshop document so in photoshop creating a document um, if you don't know how to do that just check the description of this video you see a link to the video on how to create a document in photoshop a new photoshop document right and now when you open up Photoshop, you have something that looks like this. So let's just go to Windows and um, let's reset this workspace because I've customized mine. So you see Essentials is selected. Again, we went to Windows here. Click on Windows. Go to Workspace like so. And it's on Essentials. So let, let's reset Essentials. So we have something that looks like this, right? And Photoshop permits us to customize our workspace, right? So if you go to Windows and um, you see, we'll see some defaults here. We have X Essentials. We have to read the graphics and web motion and so on so let's look how all of them look like so if you are to work with the items photoshop has a preferable workspace you see this is how it looks like that you can use if you go to graphics and web we have something like this if you go to so it's basically just changing how it looks like and the tools available for you like so you see you're now adding this motion on graphics timeline down here you click on this and um painting let's say you want to do painting in photoshop it brings up um tools it knows you always need when doing painting let's look at last one photography you see right so let's just go back and um go to workspace click on essentials so you should have something similar to this but not exactly the same i'm using photoshop 2021 um this might vary with your version of photoshop but it's the same idea okay so the first thing up here we have this bar here which is called a menu bar which has all of these menu um items here file edit and so on so when you click on one of the menu items you have now some options there right and that's that so again this is the menu bar now the next thing we have this bar here on the left which is called a toolbar which basically has the tools in photoshop right the main tools in photoshop and when you hover on a tool it shows you the name of the tool and what that tool does so if you just point on a tool it shows you the name of the tool and what that tool does okay so how do you select a particular tool in photoshop right just click on that tool right if i click on this i've selected this if i click here i've selected this and um notice something when you select a particular tool here this um items here change so if i select this one you see as it changes right yeah so again this is called a toolbar here then this one here is now called the tools options so the options change based on the tool you have selected like so when i select this you see the options here change again we have the menu bar the toolbar like so we now have um the tools option so for each tool you select the options that change okay right now let's look at this side so this side basically just provides us with other um options in photoshop what are tools in photoshop to make our design life easier now one of the very important things here is this um layers here right for some of you it might be something like this so just double click on it like so and it comes back up some of you it might be hidden so if you double click on it like this it comes back up like this and um we now see all of the layers we have for this particular design right okay so again this is just how photoshop looks like and it's quite straightforward it should not intimidate you okay so let's now um create a new document and let's just do a simple design so again check out the video in the description on how to create a new photoshop document so we have this new photoshop document like so and um let's just draw a rectangle here again on this our layers um tab here right we have just this, this white screen here that's why you see this white the background okay so let's create a new shape in photoshop so let's click here or you can press u on your keyboard like so u on the keyboard and this selected to draw a shape you just click and drag on screen so I'll click and drag i've drawn the shape like that now notice something it has added a new layer here so for now the color of our design of this shape we have added is white so how do we change the color just come up here to fill like so and let's say we change this to blue like that right and we have changed the color of this particular circle of this particular rectangle to blue and you notice that we created as a new layer so let's decide to write some text up here so let's select the type tool you can either click here or you can just press t on your keyboard it selects that for you and you can click on screen and start writing so i'll say this okay the color of the stuff is white so let's just change the color of the text to something like um black so i'll click on this here then change select black like so and take okay so i'll say um this is a rectangle like that and I'll accept and I can go back to my move to this one here and I can move this um, this text in around like so and notice something so 
when we added this text like so it now added a new layer for that particular text you get right so we have a layering system in photoshop and so i think that's all for this video so just for a recap this is the menu bar here where we have many options here like creating a new document saving documents and so on and we have other options here that will explore the course of this particular playlist we have this tools bar here we have all of the tools in photoshop and when you, when you hover on a particular tool it gives you the name of the tool and um, it gives you a, a brief explanation of what how the tool works and um you can select a tool by clicking on the tool like so and when you click on the tool the options here change so this what we call the tools options like that and the next thing each tool here has a, a drop down here so when you right click on a tool or if you just click and hold you see the, the several um the other options or the other alternatives this particular tool so you can do that for all of the other tools and you see like so and that's it for this video so again that's the interface of Photoshop and you can customize things around. Okay, so before I even go, right? So we have this um section like so, right? You can decide to click and drag things outside like that, right? Click and drag things outside just to customize things how you want them to be. Maybe you can move some things to this other side. You can click here, drag this out, right? You can click on these layers and drag them out like that. So I can decide to work in Photoshop like this, have my things scattered again like this. Again, I'm just customizing my workspace as a Photoshop designer, okay? I can drag this guy out here and maybe even bring and drop inside here. I'm just customizing things. And in, in case you want to take things back to how they were before, just go to Windows, go to Workspaces, and go to Reset Essentials, and boom, everything comes back to the way it was before, right? So you can customize your workspace depending on how you want it to be and how you feel it should be like. Um, I hope this video was helpful. You can drop your comments and see you in the next video.